What's up everybody, Jed Johnson here from DieselCrew.com, hope your training's going well. Just threw a whole pile of chicken on the grill and I thought I'd go through another episode of Cooking with Napalm. Today I've got a bunch of questions on the Cone Philippi deadlift program that I'm doing, so I wanted to cover those, but before I get to that I just want to remind everybody about an upcoming program that's coming out called August of Arms. And all through August, we're going to be putting specialization efforts on arm training, biceps, triceps, everything. We're going to hit 31 days of arm training. You want to be involved in this. It's going to be an awesome program. It's going to change the way you train your arms forever. It's going to be the best arm training program you've ever seen. Now, let's go ahead and get going with these questions. Uh, this is from Anders Imatek. Sorry if I don't uh, pronounce your name correctly. Um, Hi, Jed. I'm curious why you do pull downs and not weighted pull ups. Um, a few reasons. Uh, the primary reason is because the the underhand pull downs that you see in my Cone Philippi uh, program videos, that's what's called for is underhand pull down. So I'm doing pretty much exactly what the program is saying. Um, and it's calling for underhand pull downs. We're using a thick bar to get a little grip uh, work in there. Um, but really that's the main reason. The other reason why I'm not doing uh, weighted pull ups is because it's calling for that underhand grip and the pull up would be overhand. So I wouldn't replace that with um, I wouldn't replace the underhand pull downs with weighted pull ups. I would probably go to uh, underhand or uh, weighted chin ups. Uh, the third reason is because I'm doing the the Cone Philippi deadlift program on Saturdays or Sundays, and my back day is actually Fridays. So I'm already doing back work, a dedicated back program on Fridays. Plus, usually I'm doing weighted pull-ups on that day. So there would be no need to do back-to-back -back days of weighted pull-ups really uh, just because that's not an emphasis that I'm working on. So there's a few reasons if you're confused why I'm doing underhanded pull-downs. Uh, that's exactly why. Uh, Suck Your Bone asks, have you tried doing good mornings off the pins with pauses? Um, I, I would say no, maybe maybe years and years and years ago I might have tried that, um, either going off of pins or off of chains suspended from the top of the cage, but I mean, you, I, it's so long ago that it doesn't even matter really. Um, so no, I haven't tried that. Mainly, I'm just doing what the, the Cone Philippi program is calling for, and that's just regular good morning. So I'm doing negative, concentric, eccentric, concentric, and just hitting those for the reps that are being suggested in the program. Uh, Sean Stratton says, is it better, uh, he's referencing the power shrugs that I'm doing in the Cone Philippi program, which again is called for. Now, they're calling for really, really light weights in the power shrug as far as I'm concerned. Um, and we're going much higher than that, so that is one variation that we made. But he says, is it better to use momentum with this lift? I usually do this from a dead hang at the beginning and maintain an erect posture throughout the movement. So, so dead hang, I guess he's saying no momentum at the beginning, and he's just staying with, um, you know, nice, uh, strict posture. Here's the thing, power shrugs the, are, are, are a lift that Olympic lifters do, and power shrugs are done in an overload format, meaning they do more weight than they are able to either clean or snatch, and they're using it to strengthen their, their hips, their back, their traps, and things along those lines for really propelling a lot of weight in that triple extension movement for either cleans or snatches. So it's, it's meant to be done quickly, very, very fast, producing a lot of power uh, and, and being really explosive. So that is what a power shrug is, and that's what I'm doing. Now, um, we're using... And in a lot of cases, we're using uh, Versa grips in order to hold on to the bar better. That's because I'm going way over uh, the weight that I could do on just a normal shrug. So, so yeah, there is a method to the madness. If you're going to be doing power shrugs, you want more weight than you could normally shrug because it's an overloading uh, type of training. 
So you're getting your strict trap work, a lot. well, a lot of strict trap work in the deadlifts that you're doing because there's um, regular speed deadlifts and then speed deadlifts that are done quickly. So your traps are getting hit there. There's no other shrugs in the program, but um, you can do your shrugs on a different day, and actually that's what I do. I actually do my shrugs with my back workout the day before this, um, or the workout before uh, these, these deadlift workouts. Um, I usually do these from a dead hang. That's fine. That's fine. If you're looking to concentrate on building the traps, sure. You know, get a good squeeze. Um, don't use a lot of ment momentum. That's fine. Um, there's, but, but this is a variation of the shrug that's called a power shrug, and it's purposely done in that um, explosive nature with lots of momentum and things like that because you want to overload the movement uh, and build strength. You want to build overall strength. And I for sure think that this program is doing that. I feel, I feel really good. I feel stronger. Um, I see weights going up each week, and uh, you, can't, you can't get upset with that. Um, not getting hurt, staying healthy bonus all right it's all about it's all about progress staying healthy so I love I really like the program I'm gonna follow it right out through the 10 weeks and I'll be continuing to put up videos here on YouTube so make sure to subscribe if you have any other questions please let me know and again don't forget about August of arms it's coming real soon thanks everybody all the best in your training take care